Today, we will be testing the GM all-purpose indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the GM all-purpose indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 50 different strategies, with 13 of them being profitable. We have also tested a total of 564 indicators, with 237 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test all these strategies and indicators on the Forex market but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the GM All Purpose Indicator. And you can see it here on screen. And so there's quite a bit going on with this indicator. And so basically what this indicator allows you to do is look at things or take signals from um, multiple different uh, data points. And so it has multiple different moving averages, um, the Bollinger Bands, and I think the Donchin Channels, and just quite a few different indicators all just kind of meshed together to create just, like I said, like an all-purpose style indicator where you can pick and choose what data points you want to use for entries. And so it's not really meant to be used as an all in one and so every single piece of it all has to fit together in a particular way for you to then enter a position either long or short and so keep that in mind and so this is the default um, look of the indicator now what i did was i isolated out a few pieces of the indicator and so what i have kept visible is the ema 26 and I have kept the momentum uh, print EMA the momentum top uh, still um, kind of intact there visible and then these two which you can't really see them anyways are also still visible everything else I turned off then I went ahead and moved the indicator to its own window down here below and so what we are looking for are these uh, green and red dots. These green and red dots uh, coincide with the momentum tags here on top. And so a green dot here means that we got a green momentum tag here. A red dot here means that we got a red momentum tag here. So um, how we're going to test this is what we are looking for is when we get a red dot we are looking for that red dot to be below the purple moving average and that will be a short uh, trade opportunity a short signal 
And then on the reverse side, when we get a green dot, we are looking for that green dot to be above the purple line and the purple moving average. And that will be a long trade signal. So that's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. All right, so the first signal that we picked up is a short signal right here. We get a red dot. It is below the moving average that we're looking for there. Unfortunately, we were not able to hit take profit. We got pretty close to it, uh, but then price action spikes to the upside there, stopping us out. We then pick up a long signal right here on this one, but unfortunately, price starts to take a turn to the downside there, comes down and stops us out on that one as well. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so then we pick up a short signal right here on this one. Immediately, we get on the next candle a, a signal to go long, and so that stops us out of the short. Then we get a push to the downside with price action, stopping us out on that long one as we then pick up a short. But then we get a push back to the upside. Looks like it's going to stop us out on this short as well. So, so far, we're not doing too great on this one. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward the testing. That way things will get too long and we'll pick this up at the end of the year. All right, so that's going to put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in selling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested that comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of the indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, let's take a look at our indicator here. So get this in focus, go ahead and count these out and see what we get out of it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. So we have 12 trades all together and we have one, two, three, and four winning trades. And so obviously that is not going to meet the 60% criteria that we were looking for. Um, like I said, this indicator is quite interesting in that it has all kinds of components that we can use for different signals, different ways, different opportunities. And so this was just one that I kind of um, honed in on whenever I was just looking and dissecting exactly what this indicator was all capable of. And so I'm going to leave this one on the list to um, kind of rotate back to at some point. And we'll take a look at maybe a couple different ways. Um, the, my only concern is that uh, a lot of the ways that it did um, was 
able to be used are ways that we have already tested from those very individual indicators that have all been piled on top of each other and so we'll try to dissect it a few other ways to see what we can come up with um, no guarantees though but for now it is going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here